Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We've got a special show in store for you. We're at the 2016 Cabela's Crappie USA National Championship here at Kentucky Lake. All these teams are going to be going for over $100,000 in cash and prizes. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Welcome to the 20th Annual Cabela's Crappie USA Tournament, hosted this year on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes at Paris, Tennessee. 413 top anglers from 18 different states compete for over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Crappie USA maintains the theme of close to home, low entry fee competition, designed with family involvement at the forefront with bonuses offered for adult, youth, and male female teams. Anglers compete in three divisions, kayak, amateur, and professional. 20% of the field will take home a check. On day one, anglers faced many challenges, including an unusual warm front that pushed water temperatures up to near 70 degrees, a big change for late October. High winds and shallow waters kept the teams on their toes. Figuring out where the fish were was tough for even the most seasoned fishermen. Let's check out the highlights from day one action. Hey folks, welcome to the Cabela's Crappie USA Championship. I'm here with Daryl Van Vactor. Daryl, hey how Russ, doing? I'm doing great, buddy. Always a pleasure to see you. I'll tell you what, 207 boats this year. It's a record. I, I'll tell you what, 200 breaking that That's and right. seven more to boot. Crappie USA record. Uh, of course, this is our 20th anniversary. Uh, the largest number of boats we've had in the Classic prior to this year is 196. So we're over that. Nine boats over, we're tickled to death. That is awesome. And I'll tell you what, we were on the water today. Mm -hmm. We're seeing some pretty nice fish being caught. But it's also some dangerous conditions out there. It is. You know, the, the water is down to the winter pool, which is 354 sea level. It's a little bit tricky. They just need to watch those buoy lines. Lines, run by a good map. As long as they got a good uh, one foot increment Lake Master map in there, they'll be fine. Well, I'll tell you what, Daryl, you know, it's always a pleasure coming here taping the classic, and I think we're getting ready for some weigh ins. We are. It won't be long. We're going to see some big slabs coming in. We've had a few uh, come in already. They'd have a partial limit, maybe a weak fish, and sure. they didn't want to lose that fish because they have to be alive and be able to release them. Uh, we've seen some pound and a half fish already, so there's going to be some good fish coming in. You know, normally this time of year it's getting a little bit colder. We you're having temperatures 81 degrees exactly. today and tomorrow. Exactly. You know, it doesn't feel like the end of October. This is uh, late August weather. Well, things are falling into place. Ready to hit up the scales? Ready, buddy. All right. Did you, did you there you go. Here. Nice fish. Did you sit there close, hold that fish up. Look at there. All right. Get it right on the scale. We're going to check the other fish just to be sure we do have the team's big fish this evening. <laughs> There's a pound three quarter white probably nice fish. Team of Trimble and Edwards checking in. Look at here. Who said what any big fish gonna come in? 10.28. That's a great box of fish, man. Thank you. Going up Kentucky Lake. Beautiful job, guys. Fish are all in great shape. You need to weigh a big fish? Yeah. What is big fish? Two, three, Two. seven, and a pound yeah. three we've seen so far. Thank you. Good job, guys. Oh, look at there. Nice fish. Cheer. Wow, look at there. Hold him up. That the weighed camera, right? about two and a half pounds. Got over 10,000 hits on fame. Just a second as you do. Oh, man, look at there. There's a slab crappie out of Kentucky at Barkley Lakes. Good. All right, nice fish. Oh, nice fish, yeah. Check. Nice box of fish. Good fish. Who caught that big old black fish? Hey, you done good, didn't you? Wow, you got three cookie cutters. Put that middle one in first, because that's going to be your big one. Now, I ain't going to give you but one big fish in it. Nice fish. Man, put him in there. 
But we're getting you on the board today with a 259. Oh, wait a minute. 34. We got more. You can count more now. This is a full limit. Right, now, these guys up. came in and are weighed in early, too. Looky here. I'm hoping. I was about to be disappointed in you. Oh, no, you can't be that. I can't imagine why, because you got 9.67 for your limit. They checked in with three, then two, that's five. I had the last fish of the day for a total of 9.67, guys. At least Good job. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you got one of those new Crop USA jerseys. That looks good on him, doesn't it? Hey, three pound? No. Oh, okay. I just checked it. Going it was in the spring. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Team of Hendra and Logan checking in from Ripley, Tennessee, Troy, Tennessee. 1047. Man, there's nothing unusual for these boys now. Nice job. 220. And here comes our 2016 reigning pro champion. He got him. Right on up. Good. Great. Look at here. There's why, too. You're going to see some weight. Team of Shane Hare and New Haas. They're from Oakdale, Illinois, and Hoylton, Illinois. 991. When Brush Pile Fishing returns, Russ Bailey will be talking to today's top finishers. Welcome to the world of Musthead. Legendary craftsmanship with over 180 years of experience with advanced designs and technology. Musthead is a name you can trust for whatever you fish for. The long trusted classic and big game hooks, the innovative ultra point designs, assortment of tools and jigs or pre-tied rigs and accessories. Quality and durability are built into every Musthead product. Saltwater giants or freshwater trophies make your next trip more memorable with Musthead. For great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com. B&M Poles has been producing high-quality crappie equipment backed by world-class customer service for over 70 years. Hundreds of tournament wins, including both national tournament trails in 2015. B&M Poles, trusted by the best in the industry. Want more trucks for less bucks? Buckeye Ford is your truck headquarters. Work or play, we have the truck for you. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. We know trucks, and you'll always get top dollar for your trade. Get the truck you need today for less bucks at Buckeye Ford and shop over 200 new Fords and tons of pre-owned cars and trucks 24-7 at BuckeyeFord.com. Remember, you'll find more trucks for less bucks at BuckeyeFord.com. More trucks, less bucks. BuckeyeFord.com. Brush Pile Fishing is proud to announce the Brush Pile Fishing Combos now available at BrushPileFishing.com. We have brought together gear from our top sponsors passing on big savings direct to you. Both combos include the BNM Pro 100 Spinning Reel, Gamma High Viz 6 Pound Line, Brush Pile Fish Attractor, with either the BNM Sharpshooter 6 and Southern Pro Dock Shooting Kit, or 10.5 Rust Bailey Signature Series with Southern Pro Jig Fishing Kit. Get yours today! Visit BrushPileFishing.com for more. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Airstream, adventure inspired by Airstream. Must add, 182 years of fishing excellence. Greater Grand Lake Region, NKT.TV, Southern Pro Tackle. 
Welcome back to the Cabela's Crappie USA Classic. Let's go to Russ Bailey, who's with the leaders from day one. Hey folks, welcome back to the Cabela's Crappie USA National Championship. We're at the end of day one with team Barker and Barker with a weight of 967, first place currently in the amateur division. Guys, how we doing? Fine, thank you. Good. Hey, Good. thanks thank for joining you. us yes. here in Brush Pile Fishing. Yes. Beautiful weather, maybe a little bit too nice for this time of year. Water conditions are really, really low right now. What was the key today, fellas? Crankbaits. Pulling crankbaits. Crank. No kidding. I know with water temperatures, when we were out, we were looking at most of the water in about 65 degrees. A lot of folks are going to think that's a little bit too cooled off, but you guys got them that way, huh? Yeah, we had, we had some about 70 degree temperature today, water temperature. No kidding. Found that warmer water. Pulling the cranks, what speed were you guys going? About one and a half, 1.5 mile an hour. Did you catch a lot of fish or just a couple? No, not a lot, not a lot. Just the ones you needed, huh? Mm -hmm. So I would take it, if that worked for you today, you found that warmer water. It's supposed to be a little bit windy, but still warm tomorrow, same pattern? Same pattern. All right, guys, well, yeah. thanks for joining us. Appreciate Good luck yeah. tomorrow thanks. and holding thanks. on to that. Yeah. And folks, now we're the team of Trimble and Edwards. Guys, second place, semi-pro division. What was your weight out there today? 1028. 1028, that yeah. is really good. A lot of weights today coming in in that six pound to seven pound range. What was the difference maker for you guys? We just had seven fish weighed better than theirs. I hear you there, <laughs> I hear you there. Jigs or minnows, guys? Jigs. Jigs. What okay. kind of depth were you fishing? 10, 12 foot. Okay, any color work good for you? Mm, nothing that you would recognize. Okay. The other thing, we were on the water. We had water temperatures anywhere from 62 to 65 degrees. We talked to one team. They found water temperatures in the 70s that worked for them. What was the water temperature you guys were at? I looked at it more than 64. 64, which is about where it was where we were. Well, guys, second place at championships within your reach. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. We need it. Good luck tomorrow, <laughs> fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And right now, folks, we're with one half of the semi-pro division leaders after day one, Roy Logan. Roy, how you doing today? Doing good. Uh, your partner couldn't be here for this interview. Could you tell the folks where he had to scurry off to? Well, it's his son's uh, last high school football game, so he wasn't going to miss that. Good for him. You don't want to miss anything we like that. He took off. Well, at least he helped you catch some pretty nice fish today. Yeah. Roy, what was the key for you guys today? Numbers. Fishing as many beds as possible. So just kind of weeding the, them out. The bite is hard. The bite's hard. You catch a lot of fish, but big fish are hard to come by. So we just tried to get, fish as many beds as possible. So a lot so, of moving, almost like bass fishing today. We, no, never started our big motor. No kidding. We used electronics, uh, hummingbird. 360. We, we rely on the 360 a lot. Okay. Uh, we might have cranked the big motor and idle to another spot that was a little too far to troll, but but we just kept working an area. Did jigs or minnows work better for you? We fish minnows. We're live bait fishermen most of the time in, in the depth of water we fish. What was that depth that was key for you today? It was nine foot water for the most part. Okay. I take it no major changes for tomorrow then? Wind's going to get us tomorrow. Uh, I'd say uh, we'll be lucky if we win because we're pretty open where we are. And they are calling for about 20 mile an hour they're, gusts. They're calling for a heavy wind tomorrow, so uh, we'll fish there. We won't leave. We'll fish there no matter how bad it gets. Do but, or die. Yeah, but uh, it, it, don't know if we can come up with that weight again. Well, Roy, thanks for joining us here at Brush Pile Fishing. Good luck tomorrow. All right, thank you. At the end of day one fishing, it's still anyone's game. Will the anglers be able to fight the wind and shallow water on day two? And who will be crowned the champions of the 2016 Cabela's Crappie USA Tournament? Brush Pile Fishing is proud to announce the Brush Pile Fishing Combos now available at BrushPileFishing.com. We have brought together gear from our top sponsors, passing on big savings direct to you. Both combos include the BNM Pro 100 Spinning Reel, Gamma High Viz 6 Pound Line, Brush Pile Fish Attractor, with either the BNM Sharpshooter 6 and Southern Pro Dock Shooting Kit, or 10.5 Rust Bailey Signature Series with Southern Pro Jig Fishing Kit. Get yours today. Visit BrushPileFishing.com for more. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer-specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to.
missed Brush Pile Fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other Pursuit Channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. Step up your game and step into a War Eagle Blackhawk 2170. The Blackhawk 2170 gives anglers a tough aluminum hull with over 21 feet of stable, well-balanced fishing real estate. War Eagle. We build them tough for hunters who like to fish. Driftmaster Rod Holders. Whether you are pushing, pulling, or organizing, Driftmaster has you covered with products that are made in America. We can rig any boat for any technique from front to back. Driftmaster. For the way you fish. Get ready, get registered, and get qualified for the 2017 Cabela's Crappie USA Classic. Hosted this year on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, Paris, Tennessee. Crappie USA, the largest crappie tournament organization in the world, is giving you the chance to compete for over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Brush Pile Fishing takes it a step further, offering a $5,000 bonus for amateur and semi-pro teams who win the Grand Lake Super Event and the Crappie USA National Championship. Take your fishing to the next level with the Cabela's Crappie USA Tournament Classic. Let's take a look at the highlights from the day two weigh-ins. Next team up will be the team of Elliot and Elliot. They're from Greenfield in Jackson, Tennessee. Boy, there's a nice, lively limit of fish too. Great weight. 960 today. Added to 889 for yesterday, guys. It's gonna give you a two-day total of 1849. Anything over two and a quarter? Yeah. Okay. Next team up, team of Arnold and Arnold. They're from Crescent, Tennessee. 840 yesterday, 832 today. That's right there close to. A lot of consistent fishing going on. 1672, guys. Team of Johnson and Johnson. They're from Mascuda, Illinois. They had 484 yesterday. Weighed in two today at 239. This is the remaining five. 365. 1088 for the two days. Good to see y'all as always. Good job. Thank you, man. There you go. Beautiful Kentucky Lake crop. Or Barkley. Could have heard All right. Good job. Good job. I think. Thanks what I heard. Don't hold me too. Good guys. job. Smile and nice act like fish. you love each other. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Arnold and Arnold. Did they show up? Yeah. Yeah. There they come. Have a seat right there in the hot seat. Right now you're leading on this amateur side. They're on top with 1672. They're the men to knock off. How does that new boat feel? <laughs> Next team check again. Looks like Keel and Taylor back there. Right on up, man. Hey, got a box full of fish, looks to me like. Got your paperwork handy? Yes. All right. Let me get this ready. They were in third place yesterday with 8.90. We'll give you 8.10 today. Sounds to me like 17 pound right on the nose. That's the new ones. Guys, you just didn't get to stay that long in the seats. But the good news is y'all get to sit down. <laughs> Here's your new leaders on the amateur side. Keel and Taylor, they're from Cedar Grove and McKenzie, Tennessee. Act like you love each other. You just... <laughs> Let me tell you what this is. It's the heaviest two-day weight we've seen in the tournament so far. 1985. Great job, man. Give them a hand. Freeman and Bridges. Yeah. Fourth place yesterday was the team of Shane Harry and Newhouse. Our defending 2015 champions, actually, from Lake Patoka, Indiana last year. They had 991 yesterday. All right, here it is. Heaviest weight. One day weight of the tournament right here. 21, 58, guys. Get them in the Second boat, place the yesterday from Hardin and Murray, Kentucky, the team of Tremble and Edwards. They had 10, 28, 8, 89 today. 
1917 for the two days. Right up there, guys. That's second place right now. Let me give you an unofficial standing on the pro side right now. I can see this one a little better. Team of Shane Hare and Newhaus right here in the hot seats, guys. You stuck it out. Congratulations. Fantastic job. 21.58 pounds. There was a lot of guesses on what it was going to take to win this tournament. Nobody I talked to said over 20 pounds. So you pulled it off. You've done a fantastic job. Second, team of Jim Freeman and Garen Bridges with 1985. Third, Trimble and Edwards with 1917. Fourth, Elliot Elliot with 1849. Fifth, Captain Goldman with 1843. Two years in a row. Pulled it off. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Mustad, legendary craftsmanship with over 180 years of experience with advanced designs and technology. Mustad is a name you can trust for whatever you fish for. The long trusted classic and big game hooks, the innovative ultra point designs, assortment of tools and jigs or pre-tied rigs and accessories. Quality and durability are built into every Mustad product. Saltwater giants or freshwater trophies make your next trip more memorable with Mustad. For great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com. B&M Poles has been producing high-quality crappie equipment backed by world-class customer service for over 70 years. Hundreds of tournament wins, including both national tournament trails in 2015. B&M Poles, trusted by the best in the industry. Want more trucks for less bucks? Buckeye Ford is your truck headquarters. Work or play, we have the truck for you. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. We know trucks, and you'll always get top dollar for your trade. Get the truck you need today for less bucks at Buckeye Ford and shop over 200 new Fords and tons of pre-owned cars and trucks 24-7 at BuckeyeFord.com. Remember, you'll find more trucks for less bucks at BuckeyeFord.com. More trucks, less bucks. BuckeyeFord.com. Step up your game and step into a War Eagle Blackhawk 2170. The Blackhawk 2170 gives anglers a tough aluminum hull with over 21 feet of stable, well-balanced fishing real estate. War Eagle. We build them tough for hunters who like to fish. Driftmaster Rod Holders. Whether you are pushing, pulling, or organizing, Driftmaster has you covered with products that are made in America. We can rig any boat for any technique from front to back. Driftmaster. For the way you fish. Get ready, get registered, and get qualified for the 2017 Cabela's Crappie USA Classic, hosted this year on Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, Paris, Tennessee. Crappie USA, the largest crappie tournament organization in the world, is giving you the chance to compete for over $100,000 in cash and prizes, including two Ranger boat packages powered by Mercury and Minn Kota in our amateur and professional divisions. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, take your fishing to the next level with Crappie USA and the Cabela's Crappie USA Classic. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Crappie USA, family-friendly competition. Buckeye Ford, more trucks, less bucks. More Eagle Boats, B&M Bowls, Brush Pile Fish Attractant. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here. We're at the Cabela's Crop USA National Championship here at Kentucky Lake. And I'd like to welcome our newest sponsor to the team, Airstream from our beautiful Ohio folks. Check this baby out. And folks, as you're scoping it out, I'd like you to see, if you want to watch Rush Pile TV, we've got it right here on the Airstream.
So what do you think, folks? This is absolutely awesome. We've been traveling the last couple weeks, staying right here with all the comforts of home. Love you, Airstream. At the banquet, awards were given to the top anglers. In the kayak division, first place went to Wade Goodall with 81 inches of fish. In the amateur division, in third place was Terry and Jerry Baker with 16.31 pounds. Mark and Billy Arnold snagged second place with 16.72 pounds. The top spot in the amateur division went to Ronald Keel and Ronald Taylor, who weighed in 17 pounds of crappie in the two-day tournament. The big fish winners were James and Barbara Reedy, who weighed in a whopping 2.37 pound crappie. Moving on to the pro division, pro team Randy Pope and Stephen Dietz of Hickory, North Carolina won the national points championship. In third place with 19.17 pounds were Jerry Trimble and Cliff Edwards. Jim Freeman and Garrett Bridges reeled in the second place spot, weighing in 19.85 pounds of crappie. Kyle Shanehair and Rodney Newhouse were the big winners in the pro division, weighing a staggering 21.58 pounds. There you go, what more point you fish top? Uh, we were fishing top, big sandy area, and uh, it was a good area to fish for years. Didn't have to fish in the you know, it's got the class of fish we need. I'm going to have the 180 is what it usually takes on, on this lake. So, you know, an area that ain't pressured like, you know, some of the big, big name areas uh, and is susceptible to the wind. You know, that's a big thing. So, usually on a two day event, you're going to have at least one out of a few days that's going to hurt you that way. So, this, you know, when we first started fishing this lake, you know, on the national trails in 2010, it was, it was a tough lake. So, it is our closest way to us, so we put in a lot of time and a lot of scouting just to try to be competitive. That point, okay. How deep water did you catch most of your fish in? Uh, mostly seven, probably seven to nine. We caught some up 12, 13 foot, maybe at the deepest, but you know, mainly, mainly shallow. And what makes short fishers with you? We we usually uh, use mainly straight minnows. We switched up the day a little bit to uh, to a small minnow. Seem to be getting a bigger bite. Yesterday we were real disappointed in, in, in the bite. We checked you know, some areas near that area where we normally fish. Had two fish, I think, 170, 180 range. And day one of this was, was a grind to get a bite. You know, there was an hour and a half stretch where we caught probably 40 fish. That was a quick window of an, of an aggressive bite. The, the hour and a half plus fish were just hard to come back because we had eight fish that we called through on day one uh, that even resembled the tournament fish. So today we, we knew in the first couple hours that you know we had a couple pound and a half plus fish that you know they were opening up a little bit. So great. All right guys. Congratulations. We appreciate you so much. You're fantastic team. You work hard. Give it a hand. One more time. Pile Fishing would like to thank Crappie USA for letting us be a part of this spectacular event. Don't forget to check in next week to catch Russ Bailey on the next episode of Brush Pile Fishing. Accommodations provided by Fishtail Lodge and Mio Mayos at Paris Landing in Buchanan, Tennessee. For more brush pile fishing action and information on today's guest, visit brushpilefishing.com.